talking about the level of pain that you had back in the summer of last year, and obviously earlier this year before the treatment, uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, you know, what was your 10 being the worst? What was the level of pain that you would say you had before well, this treatment from Dr. Dowdell? For me, it was a 10. I've never had pain like this ever in my life. So um, I, I went to other doc I went to another doctor, and he said, "This is so complicated. It's hard to know where to begin." And he suggested I have an epidural block on my lower back to see if that if that they could determine where it was all coming from. And when I went to Dr. Dowdell, he um, he knew where it was coming from. And um, he knew what to do, and he helped me greatly. You know, you're in terrible discomfort. Were you considering surgery from some other sort of traditional forms of medicine before you made this decision? Actually, I was told I had degenerative disc disease in my back, and that I would just have to live with it, which is part of growing old. And that was scary to be facing some, a doctor telling me that there was no hope. And that's exactly what happened. How did you come to make this decision and, uh, you know, how did you find Dr. Dowdell? Um, I found Dr. Dowdell because I happened to be looking at a magazine, Space Coast Daily magazine, and there were these three people on the front, Dr. Dowdell, Dr. Herman Storfer, and Jim Eakers. Well, I knew of them. They're very They've been here for a long time, and they're very reputable. Dr. Hermannsdorfer even uh, uh, helped my mother and my grandmother. And so when I saw them, I thought, wow, this is something that's real, because they're so reputable in this, in this area. Tell us about your impressions about Dr. Dowdell when you met him and, and your conversation with him and, and what he re recommended for you. Well, my conversation, and I, I always remember this because I'll never forget the look on his face. And when I went to meet him, of course, I was anxious. And <clears throat> at the time, they had just begun this, this business of theirs together. And um, so I asked him how he liked it and, and did he have a lot of confidence in it. And he turned around and looked at me with the most genuine look on his face, and he said that... He now had the potential to cure people, and he had done a lot of research on it, and he was very excited about it. So that's why I immediately scheduled the appointment to have it done. It was a little scary. I mean, stem cells you don't know as much about, but um, Cynthia was in great pain, and the options were were not good options, and the. I agree with her. The doctors were very reputable, and um, it's one of those things that can't hurt you. It can only make you better, and that's why we decided to do it. A, a accumulation of all the factors, her intense pain and the reputation of the doctors and the fact that it couldn't hurt you. So we decided to go ahead. And we were both desperate. I mean, he was as desperate for me as I was desperate. Mm -hmm. I was desperate because I, I was afraid that I would be an invalid for him. <laughs> That's the truth. Do you have any message for people out there? I mean, you come down, you, you take the time out of your busy day today. I know you're going to ballroom dancing tonight, <laughs> but you've come down here to share this with people. Do you have any message for people out there who, who are, are, are desperate in terrible pain? And uh, what, uh, what would you like to tell them? Well, now that we've gone through the experience, we'd go through it again. It, it was a good experience. We're satisfied. Absolutely. And like Charlie said earlier, um, it can't hurt anything. It, it, and it will help. I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe everyone won't have the miraculous results that I did, but I can't imagine why not.